guys today i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna make window covers which is not expensive um we did a lot of research for this and apparently if you buy custom window covers then it's quite expensive it's about between 250 and 600 dollars so we figured we're gonna do it by ourselves um i um most of our tips i have from erin michelle from youtube she had a great video i do it a little bit different um because she only had reflectix and i think that works fine but still to have like more a steady um thicker window cover i did reflect this with strip card box and i'm gonna use velcro but i will show you later first of all i started with doing one and it looks like this right now so eventually you can do it like this on the window there are magnets around the side and i think it looks pretty good i still have to glue uh the edges around this window cover so yeah not bad for this edge i use this just on amazon um, there are two magnets on the bottom, uh, one on each side and three on top. And those are also from Amazon. Also, I'll put a link in the description. It's this one. These are very strong. Also, pro tip. If you want to use one, don't pull, but just like do this. Otherwise, it's not possible. They're so strong. And this fabric is just a tablecloth from um, Walmart. And also got that from Erin Michelle. Very good tip. Although it's a little bit... Uh, you get a lot of wrinkles and stuff. So I don't like that. So you should... Uh, if you have a steamer, you should uh, undo the wrinkles before you... Gotta do this. It will be look way better. I stick this together with a hot glue gun. Um... You need a lot of um, hot glue sticks. I thought I thought I had enough with like 20, but only this uh, took me maybe seven. And this is just one. And I'm gonna uh, make another one and one for the big window right there. So make sure you have enough glue because otherwise, like me, I had to wait for Amazon to wait till the glue comes in. So what I did first is, of course, measuring um, the inside of the window from here to there. It's 30 uh, inches by, let's say, 24. Get the Reflectix. I figured the width of the Reflectix is the width of a window, like this. So I put it here and I cut like the shape of the window out. And uh, eventually I made every strip five and a half inch. And then the next thing you do is cut all the cardboard strips and stick them to each other. What I use is this 93M adhesive. We use it for the thin insulation, um, but it's so strong. You just spray it on uh, the reflectic and the cardboard and mix, stick it together. I guess I need long strips like this from here to there. I need a measurement. Safe. Oh my god. Mind my mouth. Sometimes I can be really clumsy, as you heard. So, this needs to go from somewhere here to. So you have to think about um, the strips will be covered in front of the window, but the black edge has to be here and the magnets will be in here. So you need a little extra space because this goes a little bit in. So you need to make sure that, that it's big enough that the magnet can hit the metal from the, from the van. Um, 28 of strips. 28 by 44.
so I'm done with cutting and uh, gluing it and I hanged it up just to have a look for how it will look. Ta-da! The size is good, that's for sure. Um, so the next step is uh, put fabric around it, hot glue, then the magnets and then the uh, black edge. So now the big window is going to be this. Definitely iron uh, your fabric before you're going to uh, glue it because this is after and this is before. So it will be way more neat if you iron it. Uh, and then I did this. So now I'm going to iron the last piece and then uh, start gluing it. So I got extra glue sticks in. So I finally made this one. Um, as you can see, it's very stable. You definitely need enough space in between, especially if you do it my way uh, with the car cardboard in it because it's a little bit thicker. So uh, you also have to like fold it like this instead of roll it up. Um, so I put a patch here because I used different glue for the first time and uh, turned out to be uh, like I messed up that spot with glue. So um, then I started using hot glue uh, and that worked way better. Plus also you have to think about the magnet. I didn't put a magnet everywhere. It was just more I had here one, here one, uh, three on the top, two on the bottom. But then I put it up and then this was not really straight to the window. So I put one extra here and one extra here. So you should think about that very well. If you have enough magnets, then uh, you should be fine and just uh, do as much as possible. But I have to make three window covers and didn't have enough or I have to order more. One thing what also is very smart to have is this because then the, if you put hot glue on it, you Smash it together and you don't have to push it. Uh, also, don't burn your finger like me. <laughs> so wear gloves. And I use Velcro for the slip that goes on top of here, around. I will show you later, but so you can do the window cover halfway. Plus I also have to use a lighter to um, stop the fringing or frings. And uh, this also works very good because what is a good tip for this, you have to make sure you're on a flat surface. Uh, I also iron it before this tablecloth because it's very wrinkly and to make it look better, you should iron it before just on a light, light heat because otherwise you will burn the fabric. After gluing everything, you need to tuck it in, like you need to straighten it and then I, put the, the edge uh, like around it so it's this is like a style I could get but it was my first one so it will probably way hopefully <laughs> easier the second one so yeah we're gonna do it so I uh, cut one big piece and then I'm gonna <clears throat> fold it double right there put like bottom outside so to make sure the reflectix go outside the window shouldn't matter for the first one because you can it's the same size just check before you're gonna do it because this has to go outside so bottom this doesn't matter somewhere here there there and then the top. Also make sure if you cut the cardboard, it's not exactly the same size as the reflectix because it's easier to fold when it's a little bit down the edge. To fold this thing open. So I'm gonna use those needles just to make sure I know where to begin. Uh, before you glue it, you leave a little bit space on the bottom because you need to put the magnets around it. 
So I leave like, oh, this is an inch. Make sure you hold the fabric straight, bottom side. So this goes there. So what you're gonna do is glue quite fast because this dries really quick. And don't forget my gloves. Um, so I'm starting with uh, the uh, bottom and then I do the sides and then stick it and then do the top and I stick it. As you can see, it's done. I mean, the first part. Um, this one way, was way faster than the first one. What I improved is literally like uh, tuck it in and make it straight. Uh, so this one is way more um, tight than this one. But you know, this was my first one, so I'm not too hard on myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little and how you call this slit so you can fold this up and do it like halfway so the video I saw on YouTube from Erin Michelle she does a little bit different I'm gonna use velcro it's cheaper easier faster and it will work too uh, so I'm cutting this in half now and then stick velcro on it What you should do is burn those sides because then it stops uh, doing this. This is the result, people. They fit right in. And here too. Uh, this here belongs actually on the other side right now, but I'll leave it in right now there. And you see the Velcro here, I put one here and one here. So you can do this or you can do higher. Oh, shit. Like this. And then it sticks uh, but uh, I think this is more for a van who uh, have not a permanent bed because then you have your um, kitchen table here and then you will use it more we actually never uh, put those off anymore it's just always up because uh, during the day it's uh, nice for um, uh, getting the sun out and during the night you want your privacy and sleep in the dark of course so yeah this bed has been great very glad I made those and uh, it saved us a lot of money and uh, I think they, they're fine I will do it again um, I will do it faster um, I kind of love doing it to be honest so if you have any questions or uh, you want some tips um, you can always react in the comments below and if you like this content and this video, please uh, hit subscribe, give us a like and uh, it will mean a lot to us, we try to build this uh, YouTube page, um, so all the love is welcome. Our beautiful Jenny! Definitely iron, iron, definitely death cheese. So you have to think. Sit, not sit on the sink. Oh. 30 in total. Yeah, because it's an inch plus inch. Yeah, 28. 
Adios.